Nay. 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 Wake up. Wakey, wakey. Oh, damn. Wakey, wakey. Oh, nay. Nay. Hello, we haven't met. Oh, my name is Binky Porky, dead. And you know what I'm gonna do to you? Oh, I'm gonna fight on you! No! <laughs> 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 Welcome again to part four. <laughs> Had a weird dream, so decided to recreate that <laughs> um, most random dream that I've ever had. Um, so, uh, what we're going to be doing is just uh, weather. Just going to be in the room, right, right William? Just going to. Uh, uh, so, uh, guys, we've got a plan. So today we're gonna go. Well, actually, we don't have a plan. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, no, no, no. We actually have. Uh, so we're gonna go see the horses because, well, we've not seen them yet, have we? No, we've only seen them in the distance when we were walking by um, Port Saint. But we were thinking maybe after the horses, maybe we could. Um, we were thinking maybe at night we could walk across the beach. Uh, obviously we've got a headlight in the, uh, the kitchen area, aren't we? Uh, hopefully we could do that and also maybe we could go swimming maybe at some point. And I'm going to try and complete chapter one on this because I'm actually on page 18, chapter one, of a book that was written by Hunter Davies called Mean With Money. So, um... We're just going to keep that in mind. Um, the fact that, obviously, when it comes to money, it's only interesting as long as it's not fastidious. As long as it's not fastidious, then you're not really talking about stock shares and investments, but you're talking about how money is valuable in society and how it basically balances the economy in many diverse ways that it has. So, um... Yeah, that's why I'm reading the book. It's just to get me to understand how other people think about money, basically. And not just how I learn money, but how other people can interpret money. And how money is, like, how the usability of money can be utilised in terms of saving up, in terms of starting your own company and business, becoming the employer of your own employees. Um, so yeah guys, part four, let's get it on the road. Let's clittity clack across the fields of the yards. Nay! Yeah everybody, um, I'm with William, so, um, and we're in so brah <laughs> alright that's the last joke I've made for the day um, so yeah well, we're just getting more things and weirdly enough and weirdly enough I found this sauce tastes like bounty <laughs> I know William got a Mars one by the way weirdest stuff you can find in a show and this I can't get him across my goodness me. Uh, so yeah, we've definitely got a initiated plan. So we're gonna, once we come back, we're gonna have lunch. Then we're gonna go swimming. After that, we're gonna go see the horses. <laughs> Aye. Nay. And then, um, after all that, we'll probably muck about in the beach, won't we, William? Yeah. I feel as if part four is gonna be weird. 
so yeah oh my god this is going to be a horsey day <laughs> yes yeah i'm seeing horses everywhere so folks apparently and this woman when me and william came out of the um, you won't believe this, mm -hmm. but as you're seeing on the screen right now is a ladybug. Now, I took it to the changing room as soon as I caught it in the pool. Now, yeah, I was very delicate of course, so I took it out and as you can see it was on my finger. Um, but uh, what I had to do was um, I, got, I got an object and I basically gently placed it on it and it was just crawling over it. So now um, it dropped for a second and I, and I caught it as soon as. Uh, so now um, it was placed on my left finger. And as you can see here, it's on my arm. And um, now I decided to call him Ace uh, because, well, obviously it's very rare to see that, you know. And this is a six spotted uh, ladybug um, because uh, it specifies that you can see the the three dots in one of the sides, which means there should be dots to the other side. Uh, so, another thing as well is that I came across a caterpillar. Someone else had uh, grabbed it from the change room for some reason. Um, and it's quite ironic uh, that their, their reactions are quite surprising, but others can be like, well. Uh, so, eventually we took, took Ace outside to um, try to get him to fly, but unfortunately his wings were defractured, weren't they, William? Mm. Aye, so uh, what happened was, uh, was that eventually we had to put him down because I didn't want to keep him. He had to find his way home, um, and it was such a shame to say goodbye to him um, because, honestly, I don't know how he got into the swimming pool. Um, so me and William walked out, and uh, I, I just couldn't bear to say goodbye to him. Uh, but all, although we only met, but to be honest, I've never, ever, ever had to endure that in my life. So um, it happens to be that Ace inspired me, and then I had thoughts of make, making a story out of him and maybe how he got lost at sea and, um, and then came across this person who seems to rescue him from the sea because he couldn't fly and his buddy Caterpillar was lost as well but they eventually came together um, something like that I, I just want to to ensure you that this this will forever be a memory and forever be a collection of memories on YouTube on my channel specifically on the 96 916 channel um, on the James 916 channel it's rare to see that on my channel so I mean I hate to talk about you know saying goodbye so let's just uh, let's just hope that the ladybugs will be common again and that when people find them they can you can find different variations and maybe we'll come across another one one day won't we William hopefully uh, hopefully if we're on holiday or if we might come across another type of ladybug maybe a, a 24 spot spotted ladybug or different types of spotted ladybugs um, and yeah it did attempt to fly but it failed ultimately um, so yeah we're just walking across the caravan uh, so um, we don't tend to keep it in because you know obviously we need to release it you know so, this is it, I guess, for Ace. So yeah, it's it's just been a really fascinating and bizarre encounter with a ladybug. So, um, we are just coming up the caravan now. <sighs> We're gonna have to say goodbye to him. Yo, we're gonna go see the horses now, so. Ah. We're on the sandy walk right now. 
this is a pretty good trail to walk and in a minute we'll come across the horses, <laughs> won't we William? <laughs> Aye. Yep. This is officially it. The weird episode. Come on. some hay as well. There you are. There's some horses over there. What's he said? <laughs> Mr. Crafts, we found you. Oh man, rest in peace. <laughs> no. <laughs> man, that is just sad. <laughs> that is just sad. But that does teach him, though, not to take advantage of people with your money. Because you know what he's like in SpongeBob, don't you, William? You know, trying to trying to take away you know, SpongeBob's rights to. Their pay, you know, making him stay up for hours, man, in the crusty crab. Well, that's that's his karma. You know what I mean, William? Can't really blame, you know, the fact that, you know, Mr. Krabs is. Mr. Krabs is just a greedy crab. Bye bye bye. Alright, uh, he's greedy, William. He's scrumptious, man. He's a, he's a greedy, scrumptious, fat piece of shell. So. Aye, the wall's just drifting in, so that's why we're just passing by this all, all this dead seaweed and we're just gonna come up here now. Because we're just walking across the beach, so yeah. That's really nice. Ah, this has been a good day, guys. So, um, man, part four. What do you think of it? Aye. It was good. However, one of the most bizarre parts that I've ever had to witness. But, do you know what, guys? Let's go over the highlights. Dead Mr. Krabs. A caterpillar in the changing room. And the ladybug that I had to catch in the pool within the complex swimming facility. And then the horsey dream that I dreamed about, which the, our initial plan was to go see the horses, which we did, but I had to have a dream about the horses at night, last night. Weird, huh? Anyway. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. We've done it. Oh. Look at my face. It's fried for Friday. Um, let me just open up the window first of all because it's hot. And don't worry, I'm not leaving us outside like last time. This time, we're going to uh, stick you in that cupboard <laughs> for part five. This is this has honestly been uh, like so far. It's been a great, great holiday. It it just means that I can get to spend my time personally with him, but. I really want to get a public image out there just to ensure you that I'm alright and I've got actual true pals who actually stuck up for me. 
and ugh. Although we pretend to portray each other, you know, as banter, but at the end of the day, it's what it is, do you know what I mean? That's banter. But truly, when it comes to seriousness, we can fight the aggravation of the world by being happy. That's what matters. Because it might be a down low, right? Don't get me wrong. There's some things that I find very, very, very boring about this holiday. But I'm going to be honest. William is the key. Because he's my best pal. And secondly, he knows all over the place. He knows where to go. He keeps reminding me, all oh, right, okay, this is where we go. And because this is my first time being in Port Sainton. Hey, William. I've just been talking about you. Look at my face. It's pure sweating. I have been kind of all over the place, to be honest. Hold on a minute. <laughs> my face is more shiny than yours. How's that possible? It's redier and it's shinier. How's that possible? Look at me. I'm sweating. I'm sweating like this. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Look. Look at that. Look at my finger. I know. It's not so shiny. Although it's reflected by light up here. But that doesn't change the fact that it's shiny. Sweaty shiny. Anyway. We're going to end it here because it's six minutes. So, yep. Which reminds me, you all need to get to your bed. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put it in now. <laughs> you all have to get to your bloody bed. <laughs> uh, let me just let me just put yous there and there's more content coming out. Here, will you do the honours? <laughs> No, I know that. Get up. Do the honours. Hey, go over there. Go over there. Take a bow. Ah! Ah!